Hello everybody. I bet you thought I'd forgotten about you all. <laughs> well, I haven't. Um, I just had a week off and had different things going on this week. And also I took the Nick the Booksmith course. So I wanted to fit that in. Um, oh my gosh, thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, please, you know, if any of you can afford, you know, can afford to do it, do it. It's well worth it. I learned, I learned so much and, you know, I wanted to be able to do these sort of books here. I had no idea how to do them. So it was perfect for me. Perfect. I want to do all her courses eventually because I think she's a fantastic teacher and she's fun to listen to love listening to her i think she deserves us all to go and buy it i know it's expense but it was just lovely can't speak highly enough about her um anyway so what i'm going to do is um because i can't show you you know the concept of making the journal so you have to go and get that yourself which i will put the link for her course down below um so i've made a blank journal ish and I'm what I'm going to do with this series again is do it so I'm decorating it that's my only thing I can do because you've all been few of you've not all few of you've been mis messaging me saying that you've missed me <laughs> so I thought I've got to do something and I can't show you how to make the journal so I thought we'll go through decorating it and I've used, what have I used on this one? This scrapbooking paper, I cannot remember where I got that from. I have no idea. But I've used the sunflower kit. Only a few pages of it. Not overloaded it because I've kept this very plain. Well, it's not too plain actually because there's a lot going on. But I thought it would be nice to... I'm not sure about this green though, so I'm going to, yeah, I, I put that in thinking, oh, that's a nice colour, but I'm not sure about it yet, but I think it will be okay when, when other things are in there. I think it just looks a bit odd because it's quite sort of blank colour and then you've got that green. <laughs> but, yeah, so this is all I've done so far is literally just sewed around some of the pages. I thought actually that was quite a good idea. I might sort of make this into some kind of pocket here because... These, this is actually quite fragile because it's um, vintage paper that I've got from somewhere and I feel it's, I need it protecting so that's why I put that in there. So I thought it'd be nice maybe to make some kind of little cover there or something for that. So this is all, you know, I haven't done anything. Oh, that's some of the eco dyeing I'd done ages ago, like last year. And I thought I'd use some of the pages. wasn't fantastic because that was my first attempt. Been a bit, done it better since. But I think it looked lovely in there. It worked perfectly because the same sort of tones going on. So I really like that. Just done, done me stitching. Yeah, so these are all going to be flip outs. Yeah. So anyway, what I thought, I won't show you at all because it's just literally all the same. Just going through, it's five, sig five signatures, yeah, five signatures. And that's so lovely, I love it. <laughs> it feels so much right, it, feel, it does feel really good in your hand. Yeah, I've left this a bit long for now, but that's because I'm not sure what length I need, so. Which I'm going to have to tie it up or do something with it to get it out of the way. Right, so what I thought... I would do first is I want a large pocket here I've made a template with all the measurements that I need and I'll do it out of some uh, what did I what have I got oh that yes I've got this from um all my things were packaged in it from Carol Tinson I'll give you a link for her group below and she she does a little pop-up shop and I think it was actually put together inside this so this is going to be my envelope because it is perfect weight absolutely perfect it's not too thick it's not too thin and I thought I'd make an envelope to go in here you know like that or the other way around perhaps like so and then got oh that's that's why because that's the flap that's the there Go there, and that's that. So, and then we have the little thing, what you, whatever they're called, 
Um, you put your string round. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. <laughs> it's a round thing. <laughs> anyway, so I thought that would look nice. in One in the front and one in the back. So we shall get on with that because I've made a template. The simple reason is, yes, I can write the instructions down, but they go in a book then I lose that book or I can't find that book and then I end up having to do it all again. So I make templates out of thick card and I usually write on it and it goes in my bag of templates for future use. All right, so when I want to make a temp um, another envelope for another journal that size, then I have the template ready and I just go and get it out, got me measurements, got the template and, it, and away we go. So these journals here are, I think it's similar to a TN size. Is it? Not four and a half. By eight and three quarters. Yeah, so I'd say this, oh, there's my TN. So my look of it, the same size. Yeah. Okay. So we'll get on with that. I shall put this away and go and get the cards and get my scoreboard and everything and get back to you. Okay, here are the sizes for you. But again, th that's to fit that size of journal. So, you know, if your size of journal is different, then you might have to adjust this accordingly. All right. But what I've done here is so it's 10 inches sorry i have no idea with centimeters and um so anyway it's 10 i've done it so it's 10 inches long by 18 three quarters tall okay and you score at two and a half and six and a half okay and then you turn it around Okay. and you score both sides at half an inch I don't, because I'm left handed I will score there and then flip over Okay, and then score again at half an inch All right, but some of you will, I know will um, score there and then there but I have to swap hands so I don't do that Okay, so I'll go ahead and do that Oh, I'll just show it one more time so you can Okay, and that's the side of the book that I'm doing it for. It's four and a half, which is a TN size, times eight and three quarters. All right, and this fits nicely in the back and front cover. Okay, so I'll leave that there so you can see it. Okay. So I'll get the 10 inch side first. And find my scoring thing. Oh, there you are. Actually, when I bought this a few years ago now, um, it didn't come with a score thing. It was actually missing, but I got it from America. And I thought, do you know what? I don't mind. I can do it with this. It doesn't matter because you only lose them anyway. So, oh, that's a long way, isn't it? See? Let's start again. Good job I got another one. That's talking. Me talking and working at the same time doesn't work. Right, two and a half, 10 inch side. Two and a half, six and a half, flip around, and this is the eight and three quarter side, half an inch, and again, I flip over and do the half an inch again. Okay. So we have to cut away some of this. I'm just going to fold it over and burnish. I've left it so that we've got a gap here so you can fit things in and out better. So I might just put that out of the way. Do I'm losing things already? It's just going to be one of those days. <laughs> because I haven't done it for a while. I get, get nervous. That's why I've got to keep doing it because I, the more I do it, the better everything gets for me because 
I've had, now I've had a little week, a week's break. I'm um, I've got really nervous again. <laughs> oh dear. And that's it. Okay, so we have to cut out. That's the top. Okay, that's the bottom. And I usually leave that bit there and cut out. So I cut out that, 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 and that. Okay. And I cut on the inside of the score line, yeah? If I can get there. Sorry, it's holding because I usually put my head forward and things like this. Okay, up to that score line, and then I miter off. Okay, I'll go like that. And then I'll come in this way, and miter the corner, and go again inside the score line, all the way up to the top. With a straighter edge than I've done. That's better. <laughs> and I'll do the same this side. Again, so inside. didn't realise how much I put my head forward when I work. And then mitre that off. Okay. And then I'm going to round the corners. I've got um, it's about half an inch one, I think. If you haven't got one of these, again, just make a little template and then cut it and then use it. That's why, you know, you can, because you can draw around this anytime, put it on any paper or anything as well, you know. Take a little bit more off there, though. Looking at that, not quite in the score line there. And redo that. That's it. So I'm not going to glue glue anything down yet because I want to put the holes in and put the little attachment things for the string, don't we? Gonna make sure it fits. Okay. It's gonna go in there like that. I'm going to have a nice big envelope there. Yeah, I like that. Okay. That's fine. Right. So, let's have a look at this. I think I made holes. Yes, I did. So, if I turn that over, okay. Line that up. And then we just poke through, like so. Get that at the top there, I think. Like that. Okay, let's put both up together. There. And the other one was there. Okay, right, what we need to do now is make the little things for them to go on. I make mine up from a circle punch, normally, and a hole punch. That one, yeah, that's about the right size, I think. But I'm going to use thicker card, and I use, 
I used two for each one, okay? So I'll just go and get my thicker card a minute. Okay, got my thicker brown card this time. So what I do first with these is I make holes, the small one, which is here. I want four, don't I? So um, I just space them about, space them apart. Two, three, four. That's it, and then I get my circle punch. Okay, that one is not too near. It looks like it might be. And then I centre. Okay, I'll centre that circle there as much as I can. Okay, like that. And then I'll punch. Okay. Yeah, that was too close on that one. Silly me. Like that. Okay. So I do two of these on each one, so I'll just come up a bit. There we go. Centre it. Ish. <laughs> And then I will ink the edges of these. And I use the vintage photo for this because it's dark card, so. Okay. Actually, thinking about it, I haven't got my machine out today, so. Well, it is out, but I've got to find the die cut, haven't I? I'm sure that there's one similar to that. Right, I'm gonna stick those together. Don't need much glue though. This is a fiddly part. Make sure they dry before you carry on. Okay, I usually do loads of these ready actually. I did have that I'd run out, but I thought I'd show you all. Okay, got me little centre things, which is the small, small eyelets, not the large ones, so they fit that lovely. Where I got them from, I have no idea. Because I, I used to sell them actually on eBay years ago when I was card making. I used to have a shop on eBay and sell loads of bits. My main thing was feathers. I used to buy all these feathers and then, um, you know, all in single colours, like bags of 200. And then I used to sit up at night counting them so that everybody had mixed bags. Because there was nothing worse than getting like... You, you don't want 200 feathers of the same colour, so I come up with this idea that I bought so many colours and then put them all together in packs of 100 and sell them. Oh, they flew out. Oh, I must admit, they really did. But in the end, I've got, I got to the stage where I couldn't count another feather if you paid me. I was just covered. <laughs> so I don't know anybody mentions feathers now, and I'm going, nope. <laughs> I actually got some off my sister the other day because I just, I don't want them near me because I just think I'm going to get covered in fluff. <laughs> right, okay, we'll just leave that dry for a sec. <laughs> right, I thought while they were drying, we could um, just ink up the envelopes. Um, this one, I was able to make a hole with the hole punch, but it's not a long reach one. So if you've got a long reach one, you'd most probably be able to get there because I think that one does about six inches, doesn't it, I think. Um, so all I'd done, because I've already made the little hole, I just pushed the embossing thing through it just to, just to make a bigger hole, just a little one. So you don't want it too big because if it's too stretched then the eyelet won't hold onto it. So I thought we would ink up 
while that was drying. If you look, if I want a softer look, because I've got a glass mat, I usually put some ink on here and then I literally sort of go on like this. Yeah. I mean, this is the dark one, not the tea stain, so it's going to be darker. Use a, use a tea stain one. And then I go up here. I might do some stamping on it yet. I'm not sure. I actually think I might cover it though. So I'm not going to put anything on it until I'm ready. I think to when when it's stuck in, then I'll figure out if I want to use some of the background backing papers to cover it. To do around here as well. Okay, and the flap is going to be there, so definitely going to do the flap. This is below that, so I will definitely darken that a bit too. Okay, that's all done. These should be dry now. I've gone ahead and poked the eyelet through it already. So I'm going to make sure that goes in through the other side yeah here we go right that's in so we've we've put that in there okay and then I work from the top put that through the hole like so and then set the back there we go hopefully that will stay in yeah and then this one, I have to set it a different way because again, I haven't got the long reach, okay? Which I do it with a setter, which I've got one somewhere. Okay, I'll just find that. Okay, I've got that one, so check we're the right way. Because I think just a minute ago, I was the wrong way. <laughs> so let's stick that in there. Like so. Okay, and I have one of these. These are invaluable because you can put eyelets anywhere. Okay, but it's a small one. So, um, don't do it on your metal metal thing there because if you do, you will um, might break your glass. Hopefully, I don't break my glass. So all you do with that, you stick that in the hole there, and you do this. It's just amazing. Not quite, you have to do it a few times, so I'll just make sure that's right in first. Okay. It doesn't happen straight away, so most probably could do with a bit smaller. There we go. It's actually that done it better than the other one to be honest. Gotta make sure that they yeah, there's a gap there and it's not gonna come out. That's fine. Right. I'm going to go over the one that we've already done though there, just give that a bit of a, yep that's fine, there we go, and then we can put, I've got a bit of, um, I don't know what that is actually, hemp I think, and that'll go on there, let me tie this one on first, I never know how much I'm going to need so. Okay, 
need a bit more. Tie it off. I don't want anything too thick because, um, or else you'll see, you'll see that make a big lump with the knot. So that's it. And I cut that one off now. Okay, and then you only use one then. A little bit extra. And there we go. Right, let's stick that into the book now. I don't want to open in. Do I want to open in that way or the other way? Or do you know? What? I'm not sure. Or that way. Put something in. See, I I would prefer it that way because of being left-handed. Okay, but if it's a right-handed person, they would prefer it that way. I would have thought. Yeah. So anyway, so I'm going this way. Okay. Let's make the envelope up now. That's all done. And then we can stick it in. Yeah, that's fine. Not too far with the glue, and I? I usually go on the other side, so I don't get that. You rub it off quick enough, it just comes off. Okay, right. Do we want to tuck the spot behind it or not? I don't actually, hmm. So it's going to get in the way of there. So now that is our tuck spot. So we'll glue the whole thing down. Okay. That's when I drop it normally. And I'm going to line it up with that. Right, I'm going to have to put my head forward because I need to see that I'm straight at the top. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so if you're going to decorate yours, um, I suggest you do that before we, before you um, put these on. But I'm going to leave mine quite plain. I think I think that's quite nice for a change. Because there'll be decorations through the book. It's a bit silly doing that, isn't it? There. And do your figure of eight. Okay, and a nice quote on here or something would be nice. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and do the back and then come back to you when I've finished. Okay, both pockets are in now. So it's that one there and that one. I just added some just splashes of water, which I've done before in other videos. So, and here we have the pocket. Nice large pocket for bits and pieces. Yeah. Okay. That one's only just been stuck in, so just make sure that's nicely stuck there. There we go. And if need be, just 
I miss the fluff? Let's keep that on there for a minute. Okay. Make sure that's nicely stuck in. Okay, that's it. Right, I'm going to go and have a bit of lunch now. And then we'll come back and see what we're going to do. I have no idea yet. <laughs> I have no plan whatsoever. So you have to bear with me. I shall think while I eat lunch. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Right, hello everybody. And I've got my bits and pieces together. Because the light was in here when I got back from lunch. So I thought I would give me a chance to cut my little bits out and get my bits and pieces together that I'm going to use throughout the journal. Right, now, looking at the colour scheme, I sort of went with the greens, really, because of these pages as well. And that. And there is, actually, there is a bit of pink in here too. Yeah, there's quite a few colours we can work with, but I think um, what I've done, I'll show you what I've got out is some of the this was some of the bits i've got um, and this is beautiful absolutely beautiful i couldn't tell you where i got that from but i got a few pieces of that um this was quite nice too there's that so these are all quite new not vintage these these aren't new they're old so i quite like those but whether i'll use them or not i don't know but I like it to sit round me for colours. Do you know what I mean? There's a yellows, a bit of white there and yellow if you want need to brighten up a page at all. That's beautiful as well. So we've got I've got that. Then I've got um I had this fabric, so I was gonna do eventually I want to do a fabric journal. So but I got that for a, a tip in, I think. So it's it's Quite a bit there i think it's half a yard or a yard half half a yard i think half a meter rather so i think that that would be all right to use as a tip in inside the journal and also still plenty left for me to make a cover and i've got these green leaves but i'll take them off that because i find this is too thick to use yeah and that what I used in my last journal will go with this journal as well because there's bits of green in here, like in yellow. So there's pieces there that will look quite nice. It's an embellishment. That, of course, will go. And I've got bits of lace. Oh, and I've got this bit of material as well that I found that I thought went well. So I saw my bits I got ready there. Oh, there's my little bit box as well. I've got <laughs> all little bits of things in that need using up really and I thought that was quite nice I printed on some um, just I think it's a sheet I tore up and printed on so that and then I've got the journaling cards you know that I've just cut out ready none of them's been inked or sewn or anything yet except the ones here I've got a few left over but they're just generic, you know, very generic things. So that's it. Oh, we've just got to get going now. We've got to start somewhere. <laughs> got to start somewhere sometime. So I do like my things around me. They're on, you won't be able to see them, but they're all on my side. And all the colours and everything are around me. So I get, I seem to get sort of like a visual stimulation from that to help me when I'm working. And also, don't stop me having to go and find that little piece of material or whatever. I try and get it all out first and just put it by the side of me. So, what should we do first then? Well, we'll go and get the journal in a minute. Right, I think what I'm going to do first is just add a, I had a piece of lace to the beginning of each signature. But I'm not going lace heavy on this one because it's going to end up too thick. So I'm going to use a very, very delicate one that I've, that I've got that's like a lemon colour. So I'm going to use that one on first page of every signature. Okay, so we've got a little bit of some consistency going on. But actually, this one is a tiny bit shorter, so I'm going to use 
going to use a bit of lace on that one. It's the one I sort of went wrong in, but when you, when, because my book didn't, I don't know, the arch, you see it's a tiny bit shorter. So this one is gonna have a little bit more lace coming out so that it'll, so you, you won't see it. I thought it's better to show you, you know, it is a little tad short. I don't know what happened there and I'd already sewn it in and I thought, do you know what, you're staying and I will work with you to make it look the same because I actually like the signature. So here we go, we will use lace to counteract that, okay? But on these first ones, I'm just gonna add lace down the edge here. So I'll get on with that in a minute. Acetate out ready. Got a few sheets there. That'd be it. Okay. That one's going to have a longer piece on. This is normal. Well, that'd be good. So if I do one shorter, one longer, do it that way. We'll turn it. And this will hardly add any bulk at all, so. Sorry if my head's in the way there. I hope you're all well and enjoying the summer. I suppose some of you, it'll be winter if it's in Australia or in places like that. You think, oh gosh, how can it be winter? <laughs> but it is. <laughs> right, and then the long one. Okay, so let's go and find a little bit of extra long lace. Which I've got one already. I can see. Make sure that's straight. Go. Should be dry there. That one there. And then we'll put a longer piece on this one, but we won't hang it over so much. Okay. worked and it takes the eye away from the shortness of that page then because it's only a little bit but it was so annoying when I done it I thought what was I thinking of no idea but anyway we will be okay in the end I do want to use some pom-pom trim somewhere though because I love pom-pom trim maybe somewhere here maybe on the end there we do three lots perhaps. I'll do one here. And that one there. One somewhere at the front and one somewhere near the back. Perfect. We will do that. Fine. Don't you just love pom pom trim? Okay, I've added the pom-pom trim and I ended up doing four. 
because I could equalize it because we needed some on that bit there the four work better than three because there was too much of a gap between this one here and here so I ended up putting four okay right just it's getting chunky already so that's most probably it for fabric in this one except for a little tip in and because we've got our pockets and bits and pieces yet which I'm not going overboard with this because it's not going to look right if it's too wide okay at the moment I've got a little bit of room there so yeah only about two, I've got about an inch and a half so we're going to have to be very careful what we use but it's going to be a lovely book when it's finished so we'll do stamping we do a lot of flat work let's i'm gonna really try hard not to get it too big this time because i do tend to go a bit mad so you have to be patient with me and we shall hopefully have a flatter book right so anyway i've got to finish this one today as it's now half past five so because i've got all my stuff ready for tomorrow and actually i can't do anything tomorrow because I've got a friend coming over, but Wednesday I'll be, I'll do something on Wednesday, um, something more towards it. So, okay, I'll speak to you soon then. Bye-bye.